This is Dr. Timothy Sauter here with Trail to Anchor Tours and our Laotian partner tour company that's here at Plain of Jars. This is the site two. And what we're seeing here is more of the mystery of these jars. This jar right here we have measured at two meters high. Now what these jars were used for and when they were made, we do not know. This is a megalithic site. Mega meaning big, and site meaning uh, a place where these jars are located. There are over 70 locations of these jars, but we can see only three sites here in Laos. What were these jars used for? When were they made? That's part of the mystery, and when you come on our tour package, you're going to hear some of the mysteries that I can present to you of sites like this around the world. There are megalithic sites in Peru that show that they're alien construction. There are sites in South Africa where the footprint is almost as big as this jar. There's a footprint of a human type being almost two meters high. Was the jars used by gigantic people in the past. We don't know, but you're going to find out more of the mysteries that are on the earth that we are discovering today. Mysteries like Gilbekli Tepe, such as uh, Peru, Puma Punka, and my friend there, uh, Brian Forrester, who runs tours that show the high technology that was used at these sites. Was this high technology or were these carved by hand? Come and see us on these tours where we can discuss all these issues with people who are interested in discovering Earth's ancient past. I've studied as a historian ancient documents of Dr. Velikovsky who wrote two books in the 50s, Earth in Upheaval and uh, Earth's Earliest Ages that show that the earth has changed through many catastrophes which destroyed things on the earth and that's what we see around the world. Come and join us on the tour. We'll discuss some of these uh, very interesting subjects. Thank you very much.